So if you're in a place where there are a lot of really bad mosquitoes, then you know how miserable they can make your life. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're gonna to talk about a very fun subject, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are fun, aren't they? Don't we all love mosquitoes and just dearly wish there were more of them in the world? Well, I, I suspect that uh, may not be a very popular opinion. I could do with a few less mosquitoes in the world. Uh, but, you know, most of us spend time out right where I am, in the woods. And you've heard the phrase, deep woods off. Well, that's deep woods goes with mosquitoes. Uh, so a lot of us go into the uh, National Forest in the summer, which is, it's beautiful, and I love it here so much. But with it comes mosquitoes. Some places are worse than others, but they almost always have some. So if you're in a place where there are a lot of really bad mosquitoes, then you know how miserable they can make your life. So today we're going to look at ways to deal with miserable mosquitoes. But the issue isn't just mosquitoes, is it? Mosquitoes are a huge annoyance, uh, but they aren't really of any great risk. But on the other hand, ticks are not just a pain in the butt. They are life and death. There are people who've gotten Lyme disease from ticks and they're, I mean, I think you can die from it, but uh, you can live with it. And then some people just have lifelong consequences. So we're gonna address both of those things. Everything I have here will address both ticks and, and mosquitoes. So I have some solutions. Maybe there's some here you haven't thought about. And uh, all of these things are stuff I got app off of Amazon and you can go look at it and pick them up there or or whatever you want to do. So the first thing you got, uh, most of us will do is repel. Uh, you know, this off, uh, their cutters is a, a big brain. There's a bunch of these brands. And it's DEET, D-E-E-T. And the higher the percentage, the better it works to keep mosquitoes off. Um, it stinks. It's a, a probably a toxic chemical. I, I really dislike DEET. I got some in the rig, you know, I, I always do, but um, I avoid it like the plague. I really do not like DEET. So are there any other options? This, fortunately, there are. A newer one that's out now is called Picardin, and it's another insect repellent. It's supposed to be much safer, nowhere near as toxic as DEET. And I've used a Picardin on myself, and I think it does work. I don't think it works nearly as well as, as, as DEET. I don't think there's any question about that. But Picardin does seem to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good product. It does work. They claim this one is Picardin Insect Repellent Lotion. They claim it keeps mosquitoes and ticks for up to 14 hours. It's still well worth it. And I would switch to Picardin instead of DEET. But I have switched to Picardin mostly. Another product that you probably heard about is Skin So Soft which is made by Avon. And a lot of people swear by Skin So Soft. And so that is, uh, that's a, a really good option. A lot of people say this is the best stuff ever and that's all they'll use. I don't know. And then this is Deep Woods Off, you know. Here we are in the deep woods. And so having some Deep Woods Off. Again, this is also a towelette. You rip it open and you got a towelette. It's a good way to put it on your face. You're not gonna get it on too much. You're much less likely to get it in your eyes and spread it around. So I think we each react differently to these. If maybe if uh, one will work for you better than it worked for me. But because DEET is such a, you know, it's a scary thing. This is a strong chemical. Maybe try the Picardin. Maybe try the Skin So Soft. And there are others. There are a lot of new natural ones out. I'll leave a comment below. I would love to hear if you're using something that I don't know about. Okay. So that's one method of dealing with mosquitoes. You, you put something on your skin so that they don't land on your skin and you repel them from your physical body. Uh, that's harder for us nomads because at the end of the day, it's much harder to get all your whole body cleaned and washed since I'm not jumping in a shower at the end of every day. So another way to, to proceed is to put a layer between your skin and them so they can't get to your skin. I'm sure we've all been bitten through a garment and we know they can do it. That little proboscis of theirs can get right through there. But uh, the US government, uh, the United States military specifically, so what the uh, military did, they developed a product that they treat their clothing with, that the mosquitoes and ticks and whatever else is a problem 
will not land on the clothing. So you don't apply it to your skin. It's never on your skin. It's on the clothing. And that product is called permethrin. And so the military treats its clothes, its troops clothes with that when they go into a malaria zone. And you can buy clothing treated with permethrin. I bought this shirt, pretty color. I hope I like it. I'm, I'm not always very fond of pretty color. This is a mosquito repellent shirt. I bought it from the factory. Uh, just ordered it off Amazon. You can order this one or there's thousands of them. And it is treated with permethrin at the factory. And so mosquitoes will not land on it. Uh, ticks won't crawl on it. You are safe. Now, the problem with this uh, is that uh, it comes out. Usually they'll tell you you can wash it a dozen, half dozen times. So you wash it five, six times over the summer. It's probably going to be good through the whole summer. And then at the end of the summer, it will have lost it's mosquito repellency. So this shirt was made by a Little Donkey. I have bought several shirts from Little Donkey and I've been very happy with them. So that's why I bought it. It was $37. And you'll notice it's long sleeve because you're gonna want long sleeve, no point in leaving your arms exposed. However, there's a key thing to understand is that you can apply it yourself. So this is permethrin. This is the, this is the liquid uh, mosquito repellent. I'm sure they don't say it on here, but I'm almost certain it's permethrin. It might be another. It's the same stuff. It's maybe just a different uh, clone brand name, like a generic. Uh, but permethrin is the thing that the U.S. military uses on its clothes, and you can just buy it. And so I think this is a very good idea. So you, if you'll need a, a long sleeve shirt, and then you'll just, and I'll, I'm going to apply it to a, a clothing. One of the big things is to get fairly high top socks and, and apply it to your socks. That's real important. Ticks will very often come up from the ground, uh, climb up on our feet, and then climb up our legs. Uh, it's just a simple spray bottle, and you spray your clothes. You lay them all out in the tarp, uh, and away you go. Uh, apparently, the military thinks it's safe because this, they issue this to our soldiers in malaria zones. So the next way to have a barrier between the ticks and the mosquitoes and your skin is with netting. This is made by a company called Sea to Summit. Sea to Summit makes premium outdoor gear. So I would assume that this is going to be a pretty high quality product. And it comes, because it's Sea to Summit, it's high quality. It comes in its own little uh, its own little case here. And actually you could just put this on your belt or hang this off anything and always carry it around with you. Now, right away I can say I can see through this much, much better. It's much bigger. Uh, it's, it goes all the way down. See, this is going down here with my head up, hat on. It's going down to here, covering my entire back. This is much larger. So uh, this, this is a head net I would use. So this has a draw, I can draw it up so they can't come up. Uh, my experience, I've tried nets before. My experience with nets has been they keep an amazing amount of heat inside. You wouldn't think that you'd be any warmer with one of these on, but you are. Right now, this is $13 on Amazon. That's a pretty darn reasonable price. It's a quality product. This is uh, this would be recommended. A head net, you know, you want to get a head net. Okay, now I bought another thing. They claim this is a beekeeper's hat. I don't know if it is or not, but they claim it. And I've got it as 18 bucks. This is made by Camo Land. So here I have a hat and a net. So it comes with its own net, but it does something really unusual. You, it's got a hole at the top where the brim goes through, uh, which might make it cooler, because that is an issue to me. It comes with a, a hat, probably not a real expensive hat, but looks like a nice hat. Looks like a real nice hat. Okay, so you put the hat on, and then you put this on, and it uh, has a hole that goes right through the brim, and then it's got elastic. It doesn't go down as far as the Sea to Summit because, of course, it's got the brim. I can see through it just fine. It seems to be a fairly fine mesh. I like this. I think for $18, including the hat and the net, this was a really good thing. I think I would buy this. One more possibility. It's an entire suit, netting suit. This is made by Luxstone Lightweight Bug Gear. It's a jacket mitts, pants, and socks. I have a friend who's willing to try it and uh, we'll let her uh, see if it fits her and how what she thinks of it. 
Ta-da! Now we have a reasonable sized person, uh, camera, camera woman, uh, Linda, who is demonstrating, is modeling uh, the uh, latest in outdoor chic wear. You can see how that's working. It fits her just fine. That fits, fits reasonable sized people just fine. So if you're just sitting outside with a group of friends, uh, enjoying the afternoon, this would be perfectly fine. But you did find it a little bit warm. Yes. Yeah, Linda yes. says uh, it, she did find that it made her a little warm right away too. But if you're inactive, it might be fine. So this is uh, $36. So I don't know if this will work for you or not, but it, it's available, it's an option. Two more tools in your battle against flies and mosquitoes and flying insects in general. Uh, one is ancient and one's pretty darn new. The ancient one, of course, is a fly swatter. <laughs> of course, uh, I mean, the problem is if, that your rig's gonna be open, mosquitoes and flies and moths and all kinds of things are coming in and you wanna kill them all before you clo close up and, and go to bed uh, or, or spend your e evening in relaxing. So how are you gonna kill them? Nothing beats a fly swatter. I think you can buy these as a two pack for a buck you just have to have a fly swatter and they're so cheap, why not? I, I pass judgment on fly swatters to say you should have one. But the modern fly swatter, I love this thing because mosquitoes so rarely land and they seem to always land in a place where you can't get them. You can make them fly, move, fly around easily just by approaching them. But this is battery operated and it's got a button on it that actually has a flash and a zap sound when you hit it. So all you have to do is, mosquitoes flying around here, you just gotta touch it and you push the button as it touches it and zip, <laughs> that's gone. I really like these things. You can get them on Amazon. In the spring, you can find them, stores will have them out. So this is a tool you should really consider in your battle against mosquitoes. Of course, there are a lot of other things that I haven't covered. There's the, the candles that you burn, uh, all kinds of things. Uh, you know, there's the thermocell. Uh, I looked at the thermocell, it's too expensive. I'm not gonna own the thermocell. So that's uh, all the mosquito stuff I have to show you. They all have their pluses and minuses, pros and cons. There are reasons why you would choose one and not the other. And I can't tell you which one's gonna work for you. My only goal is to make you aware of some things you are probably unfamiliar with so that you can make your best choice. What would I do? I do like, I think I would, um, so I bought a lot of this stuff and I'm just gonna give it away and that's what I tend to do. Uh, I will keep the uh, Sea to Summit. I thought that was a really good product. It turns out that I didn't even notice it, but it's treated with a repellent. It doesn't say what it is. It's almost certainly permethrin. So the, the mosquito net is already treated. They won't even land on this mosquito netting. I will always have DEET in the rig just in case things are really, really bad. This uh, full suit mosquito netting was too small for me. It was a bust and I find it too warm. I, maybe I just produce a lot of heat, I don't know. Now this fit a camera lady, Linda, and she said if she had the choice that where she was in an area where they were bad and it really would help her, that she would wear the suit over the DEET. Although she did think she would prefer to treat her own clothes with this then she could just wear her own clothes. Uh, mine are the head net for a really bad situation treating my own clothes, and then uh, Picardin if, uh, if they were really bad and I needed to put it on my skin. My recommendation to a lot of you would be to get the beekeeper's hat. I think uh, for the money, this is a great combination. So those are my conclusions. Uh, you draw your own, I don't know what they'll be. So leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. I, I would just love to know. Well, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope one of these products uh, will make your life better going into spring and mosquito season. Uh, if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.